Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and we are going for our 38th win. God damn, we got Dagger Judas this time around, which is not a particularly difficult character, but not having a lot of HP, things can happen, things can go awry, but the free curse rooms alleviate some of that pain. Also, the three free coins we start with, hell yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, while a very nice chest, I cannot, uh, I cannot touch, um, because that does damage to us, and at the minute we can't be taking damage, so that's a little unfortunate. Oh, that was a beautiful one, that was, that was a beautiful one, but yeah, good old Dark Judas, good old Dark Judas, ooh, that was a weird leg spike there. As for the question of the day today, let's stick on the dark theme. What's something, like, that's classed as dark, or, like, evil, or... Whatever, that people view in a bad light that you actually really like and think gets a bad rap. What's something that, that gets viewed with a really dark light that, that you think has a, a bad rap? I think there's quite a few of them. I mean, there's numerous talks around, like, the the um, the devil's lettuce and things that people uh, always chat shit about that I feel like most people nowadays, I said most people, most logical people probably agree that alcohol does a lot more harm. Um, but there's, there's, there's plenty of other things as well, and it'd be interesting to hear what you guys have to say. Probably not a bad idea, not a good idea to get into the back there, but oh well. Got a world card, I don't know when I'm going to use that yet. Good. You old headless fellas, don't want to deal with you. Okay, good. There is one of these rocks here, and they can be anything, I think, when they're uh, when they're like that. And we get ourselves... This is actually not bad at all as an active item. It, it, it can kill bosses pretty quick. It's not a great active item, mind you, but it's not that bad either. Um, Unfortunately, no soul heart off the bat. Also, I've unfortunately stopped uh, Stopwatch from showing up later on, which isn't ideal, because Stopwatch is very good. But let's see what we can do. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Basically, I think if I dark arts and then yes, basically yeah, I can dark arts and then pop this underneath an enemy to do some extra damage. And the good thing, as I said, is about this active is these fires linger. As you can see, they don't linger the entire time, uh, but they do linger a good while, and it allows you to get some extra bits of damage here and there. Um, and I think we can do some interesting stuff. And I think on regular rooms, it's gonna it's not that good on bosses. But on regular rooms, I think it's going to be really good because we can spread those fires and do some, some good work with them. You want to chill out, my guy? That's a that's a big troll bomb. I keep getting him right as he right as he goes to go underground. But yeah, not a not a particularly hard boss fight. We got a half soul heart from this floor as well, so we're sitting pretty on that front. Good, good, good. And oh ho 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 ho! Bar of soap. Bar of soap is. God damn incredible on any character. Never mind Soul Heart only characters. My god. Um we, we we gain a health up at the start of every single floor now, so ooh, hello. Hello. Um we're gonna need a bomb to get in here. I don't exactly know how this works. I'm guessing the way this works is something to do with that that stone there. I'm guessing if I Okay, so there's a bomb. So let, let's just let's just see what this ends up leading to, shall we? Um, shoot eight damaging beams. Uh, okay, so I guess I want to just stand here and... Yeah. It opened our secret room as well. And we get Dark Prince's Crown, which is unfortunately completely useless for us. That is a shame. Literally does nothing for us. I kind of whiffed on that there, but oh well. Uh, and actually... Ooh, this trinket might be really good for us here. Uh, so this, this trinket here, the bean, we'll uh, read it in a second. By the way, how have I not done the EID? descriptions, making it smaller before. This is so much better. Um, thank you for whoever suggested that. But yeah, this bean, if we take a little look. When standing near enemies, you have a chance to expel a random fart. Now, my theory here is that dark arts will class as standing near an enemy, and therefore, using dark arts, we might trigger some random fart effects and charm enemies and freeze them and all sorts of stuff. I mean, even just walking into a room there has proven it valuable. But yeah, when we, when we pass through an enemy like that, I'm having a feeling battle class has been stood near them. I don't know what the delay is on triggering these farts, so it might not happen all the time, but as you just saw there, it happened. 
I think it is going to happen a fair amount of times. Yes, I think it is. So, unfortunately, we've got one of these pots that we can't open right now. We'll come back to that if we get enough bombs, but I doubt it. We are taking some risks here with blind items, but I think it's not the biggest risk in the world. Yeah, this is this is great. This is a very good trinket for us right now. And the shop is valuable to us here as well. I'll just buy whatever this item is. And it's Pop Pop. I love Pop Pop. Pop Pop with the stainless steel, baby. We can use it. It halves our fire rate after we use it, but we can use it to uh, do some extra damage. It's very nice. Doesn't really work from doing it under a boss. Kind of works, but not really. And then we grab ourselves that. We're obviously going to go Angel Deal here. That's not some bad stuff to get right there. I didn't end up using my wild card here just because that was really stupid of me. Because I didn't really feel like there was any need um, with us finding the secret room. Off the bat, wild is really only super valuable for finding the secret room in my opinion. And we'd already found it, so <clears throat> I just didn't feel the need. Anyhow, anyhow. Oh, I, by the way, just got to say, just got to say... I went and met up with someone earlier today uh, for work. Very interesting meeting, to be honest. Very interesting person. But more importantly, beforehand, I went into a pub and I got some poutine fries with salt and pepper chicken. Let me tell you, it was good. Wasn't the best, but it was good. It was like pub grub. It was definitely pub grub. But it was decent pub grub. I, I was not too displeased at all. Um, we do have a little mammon beggar here. This little, uh, this little fella, he's, he's a, he's a fast-firing little piss boy. We like him. We love him. We want some more of him. Unfortunately, no bombs for our jar there. And so it is, sir. So we must move on. No bombs for our secret rooms either. Our second secret room. But anyways, we can keep going. Plow on. Um, let's keep her going. Another soul heart gained there. Obviously use our fires. Oh, bit of a whiff there on the uh, dark hearts. I ended it a little early. Now, these guys can be really problematic because they do omega yeet their heads right at you. So you got to be kind of careful. But we did manage to destroy some rocks with him, which I wasn't expecting. Unfortunately, didn't get much out of it. But we managed to unleash the key and stuff there. Yeah, this, this fart thing, this trinket's a really, really good synergistic trinket here. I mean, even this active item's very synergistic as well. Able to do some good damage with the fires. It being a two-room charge is great, too. I, I, I do wonder if we can um, if we can get a nine volt and make it a one-room charge. I think on a one-room charge, this thing would be pretty good. Um, Miss Pooter, not great. So, our items at the minute are a bit iffy. I mean... Obviously, I'm a little annoyed that the game was like, here's Dark Prince's crown. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> Literally, I have exactly zero way of ever activating that. So it is a complete dud of an item. But then again, I suppose I'd rather have a dud of an item than the game give me Cursed Eye. Although, I think when you're not going for major bosses, Cursed Eye isn't that bad. It's only annoying when you're going for like big bosses like Hush and stuff. Wow, they're both the same thing. Lovely. Okay, also these fires block shots too. It's another pretty big bonus. There's our key, lovely as can be. I kind of like to hang around on top of the enemy for a little bit to see if I can poo out a little fart. Okay. Do I want a wild card now or shall I save it? Ooh, that was pretty beautiful. Get ourselves a look up and some rainbow pennies. Some good ones there as well, lovely. Yeah, do I want a full um, world card, or is that a little little pointless right now? I think it's a little pointless this late in, isn't it? Let's keep checking for uh, where I think Secret Room might be, though, because we do have two bombs to work with now. Our character's looking gnarly, by the way. It looks like I've got Chaos. I've got a kind of the Chaos face. But I don't. And we'll hoppity-hippity-hippity-hop into here. I'm going to pop that down there. Dark Arts just in time to avoid that shot. Don't know if those fires will get any anyone, but they are kind of lingering around, so they might. Pop, pop when I can. 
This guy's an absolute pain in the ass. Got him there. I'm just trying to do these extra rooms now for a little bit of extra consumables and such. But yeah, I think that's an interesting discussion, I mean, on, on like, the herb and um, just general things that are, like, banned in some places that aren't in others. I still think it's weird that the UK hasn't unbanned it yet. It's like, it's literally it's something you could just tax the shit out of and people would buy it. Like, it seems weird that, like, you... Like, have you seen how much people drink? Are they afraid it'll stop people from drinking? But they can make... I feel like they can make more money on it. Oh, there's a little dude still here. Did not see you. Okay, I'm just going to dark arts the rest of that there, because I'm worried. Ooh, bleeding heart. Heart container, charm tears. We like it. We like it. Wow, another... Another set up there. Cool. We out. Sacrifice room, what do you hold for me? Not much at all. Double charge on both of those, that's nice. Don't think I really get much out of it, but it's nice nonetheless. E. I need to make extra fire rate to make pop pop a little better. I think secret room is here. But let me check. It could be in the crook of the L. Ooh, we definitely want to blow that up first, though, I think. Didn't see that to start. The double soul heart drop. You never expect it, but when it comes, oh boy, is it beautiful. Right, um... I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble. Eh, bugger. Oh well, oh well. Not much lost. Let's pop our world card straight away on the next floor. Although we don't have a bomb now, so maybe it isn't actually worth doing it, so... I'll hold off. Maybe I should have thought about that before using that bomb on a secret room I didn't know. Should have uh, used it on the next wall to get a secret room that I do know, but meh. World cards, whatever. I could also just like save it for like the womb, which is a little, a little bit of a while to save a world card, but honestly, those floors are a pain in the ass. I did actually get asked in a recent comment why I like go quite slow and methodical to the, to the start of the run and then like all of a sudden speed up later on. And there's, there's a few reasons. Um, the main one being... I, I feel like I've played Isaac long enough now to have a pretty good ability. Okay, that's unfortunately useless, but thanks. Um, I feel like I have a pretty good ability to assess my capabilities of winning. Basically, assessing where the run is and how capable that run is of winning. And basically, I can, through that, I can say to myself, okay, I no longer need to min-max, I can just go for it and I have a very high chance of winning. And a lot of the time, when I reach that point, I just, I just at that point think, okay, fuck it, let's just go for it. Um, let's not take any more risks, take any more time, and let's just, let's just go. Um, so that's kind of how, how I come to the conclusion of, like, when I should speed up. But also, once you get past, in my opinion, oh, dude, look at that. Look at that. All those red hearts and then a blood donation machine right there. That's just evil. Um, I think, I think for me, uh, an another part of it is once you get past mum's foot, the, the actual enjoyment of the run in terms of taking your time goes down quite significantly. Um, I think the interesting part is going up until mum when you've got item rooms and you're still, you're still trying to min-max and build out. But once you've beaten mum's foot, your build is basically where it will stay until you reach the chest. Nothing realistically is going to change, or not much is going to change. And so, you don't really need to do a whole lot of min-maxing and spending your time on the floor. Um, I mean, there is obviously some things you can get out of doing that, but you don't need to. Um, I think I'm happier with the with the uh, thingy, to be honest. If it did, if these uh, if these fires didn't block shots, I don't think I'd be saying the same. Because they block shots, I feel like this is just a, a pretty good place to stick. I'm really hoping we can get uh, another bomb, though, because we've got two tinted rocks and a tinted rock with a stone chest, so pretty valuable there. But yeah, stuff like that. There's there's one bomb. I'll, I'll come back. I don't need to do it right now. Lovely. Lovely. Got an arcade here. Of which, once again, would be amazing if all those red hearts were actually available for use, but unfortunately they're not. He's just killing himself on that fire there. Beautiful. Lovely. We like that. We like that. It's a very, very strong card. 
teleports us to the curse room. Unfortunately, it doesn't do much for us. Shop, I guess I could get an extra soul heart from, but I think I'd rather save my key at this point. And I'm still going to stick with the wild card here. Right, we've got one bomb and a dream. Let's go for the stone chest and the tinted rock and see what it can provide. Give me terror. You know you want to give me terror. Not terror, but an in interesting item. I think I'll leave that though. An intriguing item nonetheless. Right, so as you can see, when we charm enemies because of bleeding heart, they fire our tears. It's a pretty interesting idea, to be honest. But yeah, I had a very interesting meet with someone. I won't go into too much detail, but basically, it was a meeting for a pretty basic job. It, it, basically, it was, it was an interview that I'd been conducting with people on the phone, for the most part. But for, the, for some reason, this guy really wanted to meet me in person. And I, I just kind of thought, I mean, if he wants to, why not, I guess? It doesn't impact me too much to just go to the uh, the sort of temporary office. We have a meeting there. Um, so I decided to do that. I met up with him. I actually kind of forgot that we were supposed to be meeting until like early today and um, got a text from him reminding me. So I was like, oh shit, that's today. Um, but anyways, met up with him and this this man, dude, he was interested in like the, the, the job. The job was just like a studio operator for our software, basically just running the software for people and... Um, managing live streams. It's, it's, it's a super simple job that most people could do. Um, honestly, I'd, I, I genuinely would offer the role to like some UK based people that watch my channel um, if if it didn't like involve, like if it didn't cross lives with my YouTube and my and my work life. Because I don't, I don't let them to cross. Like my, my, my work doesn't know about my YouTube um, and yeah, my, I, I don't speak too much about my work in my YouTube. I speak a bit about it, but not a ton. Um, I just think it's better to keep things separated. I, like, I don't I don't need people at work knowing... What, I, one, one person at work knows about my YouTube, but not everyone. I don't really need that. Um, yeah, we can open up these easily. Um, anyways, yeah, and I, I, I would offer it to people, because I bet tons and tons of people who watch my channel would be very eligible for it. It's a super simple job, and it's... De half decent money. But anyways, met up with this guy, and he was just like the most ambitious person I've ever met in my entire life. Like, oh, I, I find it funny how we just turned into a triangle and we into dark hearts, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's just like the most ambitious person I've ever spoken to in my entire life. Like, it was it was crazy. The man just has like, he was like, oh, I, I make music, I've got a film that I'm writing, I've got a book that I'm writing, I've got some TV shows that I'm planning to make, and it's like, man... This guy's grinding. Like, I don't know if it's going to amount to anything, but it's just, like, respect to the guy for just, like, putting in all that effort. It, like, I don't know if it's any good or not. I mean, I listened to some of his music afterwards because I was just in intrigued, and some of his music was decent. Um, but it's just, like, man, it's so ambitious. It's just kind of crazy to see people that, like, grind like that. Um, like, I wouldn't say that I have no ambition, but I don't have a ton of ambition. Basically, I... Um, my, my goal... My entire goal of my entire life... Also, I'm going to use this now because I want to carry this. Um, the entire goal of my life for me... Ooh, that's an interesting one, but I'm going to re-roll. We get Willow. Um, is to just live a stress-free life. A stress-free life where it's... Where I'm... Uh, I'm working... No. Is it living to work or working to live? The one where, where the one where living comes first and working comes second. Whichever, whichever way that... Whichever way around that is. Oh, dude, Willow just absolutely slapped this boss. <laughs> Willow, I'm just going to let you do your thing. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and yeah, just live a, a stress-free life. That, that is like my ultimate goal. If, if, if I can do that, and I think I'm in a re relatively... I'm relatively close to that at the moment. Um, I've not really rocked with what ball of tumors too much. I'm going to take that instead, I think. Um... I, I, I think I'm relatively close to that. I, 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 I'm pretty happy in my job. It's not super stressful. I, it gives me free time to, to do stuff. I work from home, so I make my own schedule. It's, it's very nice. I'm, 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 quite, I'm quite lucky. I'm blessed. I hate when people say blessed, but I'm quite, I'm quite lucky in the situation that I'm in, uh, realistically. Um, and, and, but I don't have any like drive to like make a ton of money or be like the CEO of a company or like have my own fucking mansion, or earn my own company. I don't really have that sort of ambition. And I think some people sort of... Some people kind of judge people that don't have high ambition. 
I feel like there's this... Pe people that are ambitious, and this isn't always, this isn't always, but I feel like some people that are ambitious have this sort of toxic mentality of like, I can't, like, do, do, do you know, like, there's, there's been this whole thing about, like, the alpha grind set that's been, like, perpetuated over the internet over the recent years. I feel like it's kind of those sort of people and people that are like that, where it's like, you're not... Like, what you're doing waking up at 10 a.m., you could be spending those four hours you were in bed grinding at the gym to make yourself look good or to to getting on the stock markets and making yourself millions. And it's just like, I just don't give a shit. Like, I want to be healthy. That's, that's fair. But I ain't getting up at 6 a.m. to be healthy. Fuck off. I'm going to get a job that allows me to go to the gym whenever the fuck I want and make a little bit less money. That seems way more enjoyable to me. I gotta say, I, I, like, I don't make fuck all, but I don't make uh, insane money, for, for, especially for where I live. I'm, where I live's pretty expensive, so I, I don't make insane money for where I live or anything like that. I just make, I just make enough to be happy, and it's, it's, it's enough for me. And like I said, I get to like build around my own schedule, like, and I, I, I work from home, so I have travel costs. And it's like, do you know how much of a pay cut I would take if I was in a regular nine to five job? Do you know how much of a pay cut I'd take? to be able to work at home and have my own schedule. Like, most people would like half their pay cut as long as they could still live to work like this. It's 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 so much, it's so much healthier. And I feel like I'm just like humble bragging at this point. So I apologize to any of you that do actually have quote unquote real jobs, <laughs> as some people will say. Um, but it, it, it's something that might not last forever, but at least while I'm in it, I'm taking the heck advantage. I really am. I mean. I feel like it gives me the energy to do this YouTube. Like, a lot of people try YouTube. A lot of people want to be YouTubers and just, just want to do it in their free time. But when you work, like, a full-time job, it like, a full-time proper job sort of thing, you just don't have the energy or time to really commit. I mean, some people do. I mean, Alexa, God bless that man's heart. Um, Alexa absolutely fucking grinds. He, his his job is, uh, is pretty big and pretty important. Um... I don't know exactly what he does. He works he, he works for some sort of security stuff in banking, um, I think. I, I don't know if it's banking. It's some sort of cybersecurity. Um, but anyways, like, it, that man, that man works, like, proper normal hours and does his YouTube and uploads, like, twice a day. It's, it's just insane. The man's got such a, such a work ethic for it. But I think a lot of people, obviously, don't really have the energy to keep something like that up. And I, I don't know if I would either. Like, I started YouTube while I was in a part-time job. And then I moved on to a full-time job that was relaxed hours, uh, but in the office. And then I moved from that into a flexible hours and working from home. And it's just, it, it just makes it so much easier and, and like, enjoyable. Because the thing is, like, if, you, if you're doing YouTube like I am, to the degree that I am with, like, the little subscriber account I have, um, when you've got, like, a full-time job, it's obviously plausible, but, like, it means that when you get home from work, at some point during that night, you're going to have to record a video. And sometimes you're not going to really have a choice about it if you're doing daily uploads. Whereas for me, because of my job, I can do like a bunch of my work in one day or two days of the week. And then spend two or three days of the week just doing YouTube. And I can fit those recordings into my day or week whenever I want. Or I can just do them sort of at lunchtime during the day, any day I want. And it just, it alleviates a lot of, a lot of stress. And it makes it just makes it more enjoyable, definitely. Crack that open. Don't think I'm gonna go with Deadly Dose. Deadly Dose is kind of an interesting one, uh, but I'm not big into like taking pills anyway, so it's not really my style of item, regardless. Because it's not really. It seems risky on the surface, but it's not really that risky of an item, uh, to be honest. It's not really that risky of an item. By the way, can we just say how like bad my stats are right now? <laughs> I've had no fire rate increases and a very meager damage increase so far. But I'm actually doing okay. Okay. Can these ghosts fucking stop for a minute? Thank you. Um, yeah. Stat-wise, things aren't great. Stat-wise, things aren't great. But yeah, so it's kind of like I don't really have that drive. Or that ambition to kind of, like, have more. But I feel like I've already got somewhat what I want. And, like, at a reasonably young age as well. Like, I'm... I'm I don't actually know how old I am. 26 or 27? Once you get past, like, 24, you just kind of start forgetting. 
I'm somewhere around that. Who cares? Uh, I think I'm 26. Maybe. Am I 26? I don't know. Um, who cares? But anyways, like, it's, 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 it's a reasonably young age to be in a, in a job situation that you're happy with. So, like, I, I, I can't knock that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rock the boat. I'm not gonna try and, like, drive for more. And, and also, realistically, if I really wanted to, I could probably get, like, some freelance work on the side doing, like, YouTube thumbnails or, like, editing, because I, 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 like, I do know how to edit and stuff like that. I could probably do some of that stuff on the side just for a bit of extra money, but it's, like, I just, I'd rather have more free time than more money. I feel like that's, like, it's, obviously, it's not a, it's not something that everyone can actually just say they want and do, because some people just need the money to live, but in a situation that I'm in, like, I don't, I don't need the extra money, and, yeah, it'd help me save more for when I want a house and stuff, and that would be nice. But I'd just rather have more free time. Free time's good, man. Free time's good. Like I said today, went out for some poutine for lunch. Took a long lunch. Just just walked up to uh, walked up to the area near me with like the food court and stuff. Got a nice meal and then met someone after for a meeting and just was happy with it. It was good. It was good stuff. Right, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I have to say I feel like for the for the distance we are into the run, our actual like stats aren't very good at all. Uh, I think Pop Pop is carrying us a little bit. Um Oh god, this is kind of a rough room here. Um Yeah, I think Pop Pop's kinda of carrying me a little bit in terms of damage. But otherwise our damage really isn't that good. But the good thing is our defense is pretty decent. Our defense is, is completely fine, so I think you can you can make it with a lot. You, you either need to be high offense, low defense, or low defense, high offense, or a, a nice blend of the two, um, which is basically any way everyone can go, to be honest. So the, I've not really described anything there, have I? I've not I've not achieved anything with the description I've just given. I've basically just said. You need to play the game well and have good stats. That's that's basically what I've said. Which is fucking obvious. Um, <laughs> but I think we'll be okay. It's, it's just going to be a bit slow, I think. I think we've got the defense to be able to be okay. I think Willow helps out. Pop Pop helps out. Obviously, Dark Arts is good too. Um, in fact, Willow is very good. W Willow is actually an item that I think is... Severely underrated in modding. Um, I think it can it can absolutely crush. We did get a token there, but I don't really see any use for it, so I'm just gonna pick it up. Good old bloaty McBloat face. Bloat's not too bad, especially when charmed. Did that bomb hit him. Yes, it did. Beautiful. Okay, nice. Not too bad bloat kill. Yeah, it's just gonna be a bit more slow, a bit more methodical. I mean, this could change everything right here. You never know. Do you know what? That does change quite a bit. That does change quite a bit. I think, I think we will Genesis, and I think I'm actually just going to Genesis right now. Um, see what we've got going on here. Unfortunately, we do lose all of our health there, which I really, really wasn't expecting, I'll be honest. I thought I'd keep my health. Follows Isaac, will start chasing enemies who are too close and then blow balloons that burst to a large amount of tears. Dies after taking too damage and awaits for Isaac's touch. Seems interesting. We'll take it. Fire rate increase, not bad. Um, I think I'll take heart rupture here. I'm actually already regretting this quite a bit, you know. I got an arms, an interesting one. That's good. What's this? Gummy bear. Health, basically all stats up. Yeah, we'll definitely take the gummy bear. Tiny planet is interesting. I like Slick Spade better though. Binky for an even bigger size down. Mega Bean, we just gotta take Sissy here, I think. Ooh, yes please. Purity, I think. I don't have a trinket right now. What's our cards up here, by the way? I didn't really look. This is tricky, because I think we do need damage, but bottle of water's good. I think I'm going to take the damage.
On death, you have any familiars beside you? Revive you and remove them. Yeah, we'll take a revive. That's a good idea. Chasm's kind of interesting for some extra damage. I got an arm's not amazing for us. I think I'm going to take the Haunted Rose, though. Let's die. Shielded Tears is, of course, good. Book of Lucifer is very good. Time itself is also very good. I'll take Time itself. I don't really know how much better off we are now, but we do get a bed, so we do get some good healing here. I didn't even think about that. That's very nice. So health-wise, we're pretty good. I'm hoping my damage gets bumped up by another 7 on leaving this floor, and it looks like it did. It looks like it did. Yeah, so I think we're actually in a better spot here overall. But I got an arm, I don't know how much I care about, really. What's, what's my thingy do here? Spicy keys. I think overall this is better. I like this little dude. This little this little puppet dude's kind of kind of cute. Ah, unfortunate. I always like doing Genesis because for one, you you almost always come out of it better off. But also, like you see some items you've never fucking seen before. Like I've never seen this gummy bear ever in my life. Gummy bear's new to me. So thank you for that game. We also have this item where enemies are frozen at the start of the room. Very, very nice for us. I gotta say, we've got Bygotten Arm as well. I don't know if I'll get much use out of Bygotten Arm. Or by Bygone Arm, whatever it's called. I don't know how much use I'll get out of it. Maybe here and there I'll get a little bit, we'll see. Time itself is uh, doing a nice job right now, I'll say that for sure. Ooh, that was a, a pretty good hit there. Just gotta play it safe because our health is lower than it was before. It's it's not it's not bad or anything. Our health is fine. But yeah, by ba got an arm. Ooh, has by got an arm changed? It's like it's like a it's like a swing now. Wasn't always like that. I don't think. That was kind of close. Nice little moral heart there. Thank you. Hmm, I have to change how I use by got an arm because I think it has changed. I don't know if I used it correctly there. I should try and use it on this guy. Nah, it's it's too. Di it, it definitely didn't work like this before, did it? Yeah, it definitely didn't work like this before. It was way easier to use before. I don't know what they did to it, but I swear it's different. Because before you like held it out and then you could use it when you wanted to. I'm getting hit up more than I should be here. This is why I took the Haunted Rose though, because you get those ghosts and the ghosts do a pretty good amount of damage. I should be using Dark Arts more. Dark Arts is our, is our safety button. If we look like we're going to get hit, just pop Dark Arts. I need to be doing that way, way, way more often. We also need to be looking out for HP opportunities when we can see them. Yeah, like that was a potential hit there. Cool. Ooh, luck Penny there. Nice. A little bit of extra luck for the chest. I don't mind if I do. Slick Spade doing some good stuff for us here. Didn't realize we're on Mum already for some reason, even though obviously we are. Okay. Unfortunately, our little little creature has keeled over. We're entering last phase now, yep. Luckily we can dark arts this if it gets a little too hairy. Shouldn't need to, but I'll do it anyway. It's just at the end there. Right, nice easy kill on Mum. And skedaddle, skadoodle. I tried to pick up the doll there to see what the animation was like, but it didn't, uh... Didn't really go the way I wanted it to. Okay, this guy, yeah. 
not happy with this guy. Look, I hope... I was going to say, luckily, or slash hopefully, you can drop me a soul heart on death. As long as I don't get hit again, we might not have lost too much. Or he can give me an item. He gave me the item. 10% chance to spawn 5 mila lights near enemies when it is hit by an enemy tier. I've never seen Conquer Baby before. That's an interesting one. Plenty of money, but nothing to do with it. Play it safe, play it safe. My health is not great at the moment, so I'm a little wary. Dude, I'm getting hit by some bullshit right now. I need to be way more careful. Just surprised by the lack of HP the game's giving me. I'm going to leave that there in case I find HP. What are you doing? Where are you going? Okay, I think we do need to pop some of these for uh, potential soul heart health. We've got a few fires around, haven't we? Don't remember where they were now, but there's a few about. Not the best use of my bombs right now, I'll be honest, but being able to get one of those and then token it into a second one is incredibly valuable. So don't pick up anything else other than the token right now. The token was in here, wasn't it? There you go. Extra soul heart. That that makes me feel a lot, a lot better. That's the sort of late game min-maxing that we've got to do when things are looking a little, a little iffy. Okay. Also, we can dark arts into here. I kind of forgot about that for a hot minute. Which is a, little, a little bit annoyed. I took the bygot on arm, and it's it's just kind of crap now. Ooh, that's rather nice. That's uh, that's going to carry us through a few rooms here and there. Of course, literally the invincible enemy ate every single one of those flies and spiders. So that was. Entirely worthless for us. <laughs> Bit of a shame there. Yeah, luckily having this like freezing effect at the start of rooms allows us to kill one or two enemies before anything happens, which I'm really, really liking. That's helping quite a lot. Oh, I can actually kill enemies before you activate. That's interesting. Before you make the enemies invincible. I like that. <laughs> That's very useful. Have we seen a secret room potential at the moment? I don't think we have, have we? That could be secret room. I'll check that out. Unfortunately not. There's one big boy left. Room kind of cleared itself up pretty fast, actually. I can definitely feel, I've been recording a lot of videos recently on, uh, to prepare for my Venice trip. I can definitely tell I'm losing my voice a little bit. Only, only a little. It's just, it doesn't feel, it doesn't hurt or anything. It just feels a bit raspy. But I'm taking a break tomorrow. No recordings tomorrow at all. Maybe not even on Sunday. I'm going to try and get everything done before this weekend so I can start my holiday early. I will go for this for the potential of the HP. Unfortunately, we did not get lucky on this one. Probably have to fight some horrible souls. I mean, luckily our damage is, is pretty amazing, so we're killing stuff reasonably fast here. I am liking the speed at which we can kill things. Wasn't expecting Conquest. Kind of forget that the uh, mob trap rooms can have bosses in them. Good, good. I guess I'll take the bomb, just in case. I don't really need the money for anything, though. Ugh. This is a bit of a gross room. Luckily, we've got enough damage to one-shot those guys, which makes me much happier. Uh, don't think there's much we can do with those. Take you out and you out. Pill I'm not going to go for. Right, boss time. Try and save Dark Arts for moments of uh, difficulty. 
think we should be able to kill this guy pretty quick. I love the way my little my little buddy just goes into the middle of the room and kills himself like pretty much straight away. <laughs> I'm hoping not to get hit because um I'd prefer there he is back up again. I'd prefer to keep my aura right now because I've got a very good aura. Also, bleeding this boss is really good because um oh I got hit right towards the end there, but he gave me a soul heart back, so can't complain too much. Unfortunately, I did lose my uh, my aura of, of uh, fire rate there. I gained speed, which is not the best one. Ooh, Mysterious Liquid, pretty good. Tech 2, pretty good. Green Candle. Poison enemies in a small radius around Isaac. Okay. All good stuff. All good stuff. Nothing HP based, though. But, um... I like what we've got going on here. Ooh, also... I did not know... Tech 2 plus time itself was such a strong combination of items. But it seems to be very, very good. It is absolutely demolishing everything. Oh my god. Yeah, time itself plus tech 2 seems to have some sort of... I don't know if it's a bugged interaction, but... It seems to be producing a lot more damage than you'd expect. Oh, I forgot about the time itself plus bombs interaction too. Oh god, I got hit by something though. What, what, what exactly hit me? Was it Steven on the wall? I think it was Steven on the wall. My bad. So my health isn't great right now, but it's it's serviceable. It should be enough. Just play it safe. Use Tech 2 to our advantage at a distance here. Beautiful stuff. Extra Soul Heart there makes me very happy. So worm friends taking care of three dollar bills, an interesting one to go alongside all of this. Some weird shit going on right now. I'm doing some of these extra rooms here because I think we have the capacity to pretty easily clear these rooms. And uh, we could get some good stuff. We could get some good stuff, you never know. Man, that went alarmingly well. Yeah, this Tech 2 interaction is, is clearly got something something spicy going on because it's, it's killing stuff very, very quickly. That was a really bad place for me to stand there, by the way. Uh, let's destroy these poops because they can contain half soul hearts. It's not super likely, but it can happen. Ooh, another chest. Shattered Orb. It's probably actually better than uh, what we've got going on right now. We got ourselves trapped enemies in vines, trapped enemies drop fruit hearts. Okay. We can make that work in a larger room with a lot of enemies. I think rooms like this, it doesn't really make much sense. I think Mysterious Liquid is, is like doing some shenanigans here as well. This is gonna this is gonna be a room with multiple phases, right? Oh yes. Okay, that, this Shattered Orb thing, just for that alone, seems uh, pretty nutty. We are, we have no problems anymore. Also, Dip, what happened to you? Yeah, we have no problems anymore. That literally almost filled my HP bar. I got like four whole hearts out of that. Beautiful. I see the kids you're producing. I do not care for them. By the way, after this win, one more win to break my record on YouTube. I don't know if I've ever had a streak higher than that off YouTube. I don't think I have, so I think it'll be my highest streak ever. Which is pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Get 
Get orbed. <laughs> oh, it just broke the music for a little while there. That's funny. Oh, dude, as soon as his boss armor goes away, he gets absolutely shit on by this setup. Watch his health. Look, look, look. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And zoom, his health bar goes down. <laughs> There you go. Oh, this guy unfortunately moves quite a lot, which makes him a little harder to best quite so easily. We've got the fire rate bonus on at the minute as well, though. There you go. Another victory on the record. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.